Uh, hello students. So let us solve this problem from just 2022. Question number is C3. So in this question, they are saying that uh, they are optically exciting or optical, optically shining a semiconductor crystal, okay, of which is a shape of cube. Okay, and they have given the dimension of uh, cube as a one centimeter. Okay, so this is basically one centimeter cube cube. Okay, and when you shine the light in this uh, to into this two crystal, okay, you are getting the Carrot concentration equal to 10 to the power electron per centimeter cube. Okay, so this is the this much electron carrier density is generated. Okay, so this is given a centimeter cube. So let us convert in meter cube. So this will give you 10 to the power 18 electrons. Electrons. Okay, electrons per meter cube. Okay, they also given the dielectric constant and they say. The sample is kept at liquid temperature, liquid nitrogen temperature, and the mobility is the values for electron holes both have same same values. Okay, zero point five meters square. Now they are applying a, a voltage across this voltage across this uh, crystal. Okay, and they are generating current. Okay, so they are asking what is the value of current flowing across this semiconductor crystal. Okay, now <coughs> you understand uh, whenever we use semiconductor okay transport equations, we generally don't uh, use this dielectric constant value while calculating electric field or current density values. Okay, but in particular equation since dielectric is given, okay, so we have to use this uh, dielectric value also while calculating the electric field. Okay, so whenever you apply uh, a voltage. Okay, across a length L. Okay, you know the electric field will be your V by L. Okay, so here the dimension of uh, cube is given. L is given your one centimeter cube. You can remember that will become 10 to the power minus one meter square, and area is will be one centimeter square. That is 10 to the power minus four meter square. Okay, now this is uh, electric field without medium. Okay, now if if the semiconductor because the semiconductor it has a dielectric constant okay and so the electric field will be es okay instead of e naught and we know the definition of your dielectric constant dielectric constant is nothing that's the permittivity medium divided by permittivity of air or vacuum and this is also equal to electric field okay in vacuum or without medium with electric field in medium medium is semiconductor so i can write my es equals to e naught upon er okay uh, e es equals to e naught upon er and e naught value i can write v upon applied voltage into er l okay so this is my uh, electric field value now if you see uh, the semiconductor okay for semiconductor we know the current density equation j is equals to equal to sum of current uh, current due to uh, electron and and this is current due to holes okay now if you if you sum them okay if i sum them okay i can write that this will be equal to your n q okay mu n plus mu p i'm writing magnitude only e okay and n because question the mobility is given same okay so i can write this is a 2 n q mu electric field okay this is my current density if i want i i will be simply j into a, a is a cross section area so this will become 2 a n q mu electric field electric field in semiconductor okay and electric field semiconductor i also already know that is 2 a n q mu es is your v upon l er l okay now just put the values in this formula. So you have two cross section is 10 to the power minus four. N is carrier concentration that is equal to 10 to the power 18. Okay, Q is nothing 1.6 minus 19. Mu is your mobility, which is given value 0 0.5. Okay, voltage is 100. Dielectric constant is 20 and the length is again 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter. Okay. 
So <coughs> if I solve this one, this will give me how much. So you have power. So two, okay, two into point five one. So you remain, you remaining with one point six, okay. You remain one point six twenty divided by twenty, and if you calculate the powers, okay. So power here is eighteen, okay, eighteen, and then you have power nine eighteen and two twenty, okay, twenty and twenty, and then you have here this cancel minus two. This become minus two, okay. So this become twenty one. This twenty to so ten to the power minus one. This remaining, okay. That means one point six divided by two into ten to the power minus two, okay. So this give me what? This gives me point eight into ten to the power minus two, okay. And if I write in milliampere, so this give me point zero eight into ten to the power minus three ampere. That is your point zero eight milliampere, okay. So basically, this is your answer. Okay, point zero eight milliampere. So so this is also. Let me check the answer. Okay, so point zero eight milliampere. Okay, okay. So this is the correct answer. So this is a numerical <coughs> type question. Okay. So you have to uh, write the correct answer, and this is the even the correct answer. One zero two MP. Okay. Hope you like the solution. Thank you very much.